We now return to the all new Bound Puppy. Four more cute little old pups ready for adoption, Cooler. Let's just hope they're ready to meet the evil queen of creepiness, Katrina Stoneheart. <laughs> Doggies. Now, let's get one thing straight right off the bat. You'll never escape from my pal. Never! Oh. <laughs> and no one can help you. Not even Cooler and his eggy little puppy pals. Golly gee! That's us! And if Cooler's pack shows up around here, we'll be waiting with the vacuum vortex. <laughs> <laughs> yes, folks, it dices, it slices, and it's only 1995. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's on to us, crew. Let's hit the pail. Why is that bucket of bolts chewing up garbage cans? Maybe it's hungry. Blasted contraption must need a tune-up. Take it back to the garage, Bratina. Yes, sir, Mother Come on, back. Don't worry, puppies. You have more friends here than you think. <laughs> Forget about Katrina, pups and puppets. We have some tail wagon good news, so listen up. We're gonna find each and every one of you a hap hap happy home. Yeah! <gasps> By Joe, Paolo, Chip, what's wrong with your tail? It should be wagging. I don't know. My tail never wags. It never wags. It, it never, never wags. wags? It never wags. And no one wants to adopt a pup whose tail won't wag. Now, don't you worry your cute little old head, pal, dear. Because we're gonna fix your wagger. And for emergencies like this, who do you call? Young Dr. Whopper! <laughs> what do you make of it, Doc? I think it's a tail. That much we know, but why won't it wag? Its batteries must be worn out. I'm afraid we'll have to operate. Operate? What for? To install a new tail. You're barking up the wrong tree, Whopper. Hal doesn't need a new tail. He needs a reason to wag his own tail. So, let's give him a reason. Let's cheer up this pup. Oh, oh, cheering up is my specialty. Then, bright eyes, do your stuff. All right. Come on, Hal. Wagon. Let's face it, it'll never wag. Whoa, don't give up so fast, my little pupperoo. We've got someone who can put some bounce in your behind. Pal, this is Howler, our expert inventor. Oh, uh, uh, pleased to meet you, pal. And don't worry about a thing. I have an invention here that's guaranteed to defrost your frozen tail. <laughs> I call it the Wag-O-Matic. Gee, you think it'll really work? There's 
one way to find out. Let's hook you up and switch it on. Now, that's what I call wagging. But everything's wagging except this table. Sorry, pal. I guess my invention was a bust. But Katrina's invention is back in action. The vacuum vortex is all tuned up for me, dearest. Excellent, Regina. Now, let's give it a live demonstration. Are you ready, Catgut? <laughs> we just set the gunky control to Kitty Cat. And we turn it on. <laughs> It works! Now we can finish our cooler and his pack of pesky pooches for good! <laughs> oh no! How are we ever gonna sneak Pal and the other pups out now? Don't worry about me, guys. I'm stuck here forever, remember? No one wants to adopt a pup whose tail won't wag. You know, Pal, I've been thinking. We've been trying to get your tail to wag, but we've blown it. Because, hey, we can't make it wag. What Cooler is trying to say, pal, is that the wag has to come from inside of you. Straight from your little old heart. Straight from my heart? Come on, we'll show you in the Hall of Puppy Power. Pal, deep within every dog's heart is a gift known as Puppy Power. It's the magical love shared by puppies and children. Our friend Holly has puppy power. That's right, pal. And now we'd like you to meet a special boy. His name is Gray. Gee, his tail's not wagging either. That's right. He's lonesome because his best friend just moved away to another town. Pal, do you think you might be able to cheer Greg up? Who, me? I, I, I don't know. But, but, but I'd sure like to try. Could I? <gasps> I'd really like to help him. I really would. I'd love to cheer up Greg. It's a puppy's dream come true, having someone to love. This is the happiest day of my life. Come on, pal. Greg's waiting to adopt you. Yo, pound puppies, let's start pounding. Yeah! Yay! Be super duper quiet, pal. I'll bet the vacuum vortex can hear a pin drop. All right, who dropped the pin? Sorry, I guess my diaper drooped. Oh, how embarrassing. Well, undroop it and let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, at last, the vacuum vortex is about to crush Cooler and his cronies. Shake a leg, crew. In fact, shake all four legs. Ellie, you maroon! Yee-haw! Right on top of Mama Sarah, you've got the Get in, you worthless hunk of dunk. Stop him up! This pony ride needs a minor adjustment. R-A-T spells rat, which stands for cat cleaner. Oh, oh no! It's gone to the side! Oh, 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 oh. Ew! Egg, yuck, stinky, smelly cages! Someday I'll get you for this cooler. 
Someday! And someday, Katrina may find the key to unlock her cage. But not someday soon! <laughs> So happy for little old pal. Hey, pull yourself together, Nose Marie. I can't help it. I always cry at adoptions. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Now neither of us will ever be lonely again, pal. And that's what I call a tale with a happy ending. <laughs> we now return to the all new Pound Puppy. Anybody home? Looky, looky, looky. A real nice puppy perfect family. Oh, wonderful. I feel a little old adoption in the air. Yep, they'll be A-OK -okay for one of our pupperoos. Ooh, except for one problemo. Here comes Mina Katrina. What a pleasant surprise. Visitors. Now, what can I do for you? We'd like to adopt a puppy for our daughter. I want this one. She's perfect. I want this one. She's perfect. As luck would have it, that dog is not available. In fact, all the dogs are spoken for. We have nothing. What a pity. Come on, Shannon. <sighs> Miss Stoneheart, if a puppy does become available, here's my phone number and address. I'll call the very second we have a dog for you. Thanks again. And we'll have a dog for them just as soon as cats can fly. <laughs> Perfecto mundo. Now we can find where that family lives. <gasps> and they can adopt Bessie. Oh, I'll go get her. Come on, honey lamb. You're going to your new home. But wait a minuto. We can't just all rush off. Uh, somebody's got to stay here and hold the fort. I should go along to take care of Bessie. I'll be in charge. I'll be in charge. Uh, no, no, no. It's a Whopper's turn this time. Me? In charge? Bingo. You got it, little guy. Does that mean what I say goes? Yep. Now you're the big cheese. Bright Eyes will stay with you to help out. Okay. Good luck, crew. Come on, Whopper. Let's get back down to mission control. Hold it. Oh, brother. <laughs> nice shot, Cat God. Oh, what's this? One of the dog cages is open. A dog is missing. And there it is. Ew, it's that yucky mutt that Namby Pamby Nicey Wicey Girl wanted. And Cooler helped in escape. But he'll never get away with it. The combat attractor can crunch those beasts down smaller than their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Up, two, three, four, company! Oh, as you now know, I have been made boss of the pound. No, no, the world. No, the universe. Yeah, that's it. So, do what I say. And I say you must all start digging for the brand new Yet, Bessie, honey, but soon, very soon. I wonder if everything's pup shaped back at the pound. Cooler, honey, I am sure sweet little Whopper will do just fine. Yeah, but do you think he's a take charge kind of pup? How about like this? I've already drawn 50 pictures of your Whopper. How many do you want? Keep drawing! A leader needs lots of official pictures. <laughs> Why are they stopping? I want that room dug bigger. The new Fort Walker must be giant. 
I got it! Bobber, they can't dig anymore. They're tired out, and besides, there's no place to put the dirt. If their leader says to keep digging, they must keep digging, and they must find a place for the dirt. Hey, check it out. That's the Correcta Mundo Street, Grove Avenue. It won't be long now, Bessie, honey. Okay, let's move out. Aha! There they are. Puppy friends are dead ahead. Bird throttle forward! Aye, aye, Mommy Dara. No, Bertina, watch where you're going. You, Claude, where did you get your driver's license? I'm only 11 years old, Mommy Dearest. I don't have a license. In fact, I don't even know how to drive. Mm. Well, that's all. Capture the real you with a net. And next, we'll start digging a big cavern for the Whopper Royal Castle. But if they keep digging, Whopper, where will they put all the dirt? I see the end of her dog is, Mama Dara. Faster, faster. Drop Tina, you roadhog. After those dogs. What in Murgatroyd is that? Just a few more houses to go, Bessie. Then you'll be in your new master's loving arms. <laughs> you crummy dog. I got you something wet. <laughs> now get out of here before I call a dog catcher. Gee, obviously, this kid is not a member of the Pound Puppy Fan Club. Couldn't have happened to a nicer kid. <laughs> My new bicycle! There goes six months allowance! Bright eyes, fill me a great. Sorry, my hands are full. Oh, I just wonder if this statue of me is going to be big enough. It's so big, they'll never find a place for all the stone chips. Bright eyes, never bother a king with tiny details. Successoroo, Bessie, we made it. Your new home. Yes? Oh my, look who's here. It's my puppy. My very own wonderful puppy. Oh my gosh, what's that? <laughs> At last, we have them cornered. <laughs> Officers. <laughs> and now, my subjects, I command you to dig two, three, five hundred times faster! Yeah. You pushed them too far this time, Whopper. Too far? Ha! Only the king can decide what's too far. Yeah. Puppets, we're gee, we're in shock. 
What in the puppy-powered world happened? Well, I guess maybe it was my fault. Are you okay, Whopper? Uh-huh. But maybe next time I'm leader, I should only need me. Maybe next time, Whopper, you'll know how to be a better leader. I just have one question, Whopper. With all the digging that's been going on, uh, where'd you put all the dirt? Gosh, do you really have to pay for those yucky cars and bikes and stuff, Mommy Durst? Yes, but I, I don't want to even think about it now, Bertina. I'm just glad to be home. Home to peace and quiet. Ah! It's a dirt downpour! You know, Whopper, you may have been a lousy leader, but I sure dig what you did to Katrina. <laughs>